Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply, and this video is to bring you a closer look at the ASI 0165 115 VAC hand dryer. I've got one here on my desk, and I'm going to show it to you, give you a little summary of it right now. This is what the unit looks like. Weighs about nine pounds, uh, something in that range. Uh, I don't have the exact weight, but nine pounds, something in that range. Uh, a metal cover to it. It's a profile view. It's very small or, or petite. I don't mean small, but you can see in relationship to my hands that it's not, you know, a, a gigantic hand dryer in the sense that, um, you know, it'll take up a tremendous amount of wall space. Uh, the first thing that is done, and I'm going to tip the camera down to my desktop because it's a bit hard to hold that 10 pounds in my hand and show it to you. So I've got this on my desktop. I'm going to tip this camera down now. Forgive me. Okay, so we're going to work like this now. The, the unit itself has these two screws here and down here. And includes with it a Allen wrench to remove them. Okay. Once you loosen them, you'll be able to remove, and I've already loosened them, you'll be able to remove the cover. Okay. And that's the business end of the hand dryer, right there. Might look complicated, but the truth of the matter is it looks really, really simple to, to work on and to use. And with the, before we get into the hand dryer, you're going to get a warranty card. Definitely send that in. You're going to get a set of instructions, which we're going to go over in a minute. And you're going to get this giant template. And the template's just fantastic uh, in terms of placing it on the wall and locating the holes that you need, okay, along with your electrical feed holes. There are a lot of the information that is on the back side of the template is already in the instructions. The mounting heights are very important, uh, especially the reference to handicap right there at my finger for ADA compliance. You want to make sure you're mounting them at the right height. You want to make sure the power is pulled to the right height too. I've had electricians pull power to find out later that they pulled it to the wrong location. Uh, so there are technical specifications that you can review on this in terms of, you know, how long it runs, what the delay is, the drying time, etc. And that's all here. I won't beleaguer all those points in this video. Uh, except to say that, you know, drying time is less than 28 seconds. Uh, it is obviously an automatic, uh, no-touch sort of unit, infrared uh, circuit, one-minute auto shutoff, two-second delay turnoff after the last sensor read. Okay, so you, you know, if you have your hand there, you pull it away, it's going to shut off for two seconds. Okay, now, really the question that people ask is, okay, how do, you, how do you wire it? And that's addressed right here, as it is on that template that I showed you. And the bottom line is this, the black, you know, your, li your live wire, your black, or brown, I suppose, I, I see them as black, that's going to get connected to your L1. Okay, this is a terminal block. The wire is going to go in there. You're going to tighten it down. Don't over-tighten it, of course. Your second wire, neutral, or second, you know, live wire, red, to the L2, N slash L2. Your ground wire is going to go right here. So... Uh, for instance, black, red, ground. That's how that's going to work. Very simple. Um, nice quality construction in here. It certainly seems very solid. In the instructions that you get, there is, and I would definitely keep these on hand, uh, and there is a link to this in our item uh, below this video, of all the replacement parts available. 
along with a schematic is also available. There's really no reason, um, you know, I, we sell a lot of these 0165s and we don't really have any sort of problem uh, with them failing. Sorry, I'm going to adjust the camera back. Uh, but it's nice that you have available to you replacement parts because occasionally things do need to be replaced, especially given lots of use. You'll want to continue to rebuild your, you know, uh, hand dryer to get useful service out of it. Even though it's a relatively inexpensive hand dryer, uh, the fact of the matter is, um, repair it. There's, you know, and we don't, I don't sell a lot of repair parts for these, uh, and it's because, in my opinion, I don't have a lot of problems with them. Uh, the sensor occasionally, sure, that, that's been something that I've sold, but everything else is pretty solid uh, in here. Um, there's really nothing else uh, in terms of importance to really mention in this video except that there is a troubleshooting guide inside of here. Hopefully you won't need to refer to that at all. Okay. ASI is a real good quality company that uh, stands behind their products, good quality customer service. Fasteners are included, which may or may not give you everything that you need to install. You know, you got the washers that's going to, you can see, you know, the, the holes here in the back of the unit, the rubber grommet holes, okay? So you want to follow the uh, template. There is a reference to make sure that these hand dryers are at least 24 inches. If you've got two or more dryers, dryers should be no closer than 24 inches on center. Okay. Um, you know, that's a reference to the usability of them, making sure that they're not too close. The cover just simply goes back on very easily. There's a retaining, there's a um, offset piece of metal preparation to the top of the unit right here. The cover literally just hooks onto that, hangs there, and then you bolt it back in here and here. That's the bottom line, very easy. Very simple. If you have any questions on the ASI 0165 115 VAC hand dryer or any other ASI product, please feel free to reach out to us. Thank you.